Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen and today I'm going to teach you the verbs to be in Spanish. Unfortunately, this is not a very, very easy topic. Normally, it's a bit difficult because in Spanish we have two verbs for this verb. It's not that easy like in English, I know, but we have two. We have the verb ser and the verb estar. So, what is the difference? Well, let's start with ser. When we use ser in Spanish, we are talking about things that normally doesn't change from one second to other. For example, the name, for example, the nationality, the gender, the occupation, those characteristics never change from one second to other. Also, personality, all the features of your personality and your appearance. So we can think that the verb to be is more related to all the characteristics that are more inherent to you. Nobody can modify it so easily or yourself. So, for example, if you want to say that a person is intelligent, you are going to use ser, because it's something that somebody cannot develop from one second to other. It takes years. Like the like the like the nationality, you cannot be American in this moment and then Colombian. No. No. Normally these things are inherent to you because the the nationality also has the culture and some costumes. So basically are things that doesn't change from one second to other. Also the appearance, the appearance like you are tall, you are um, you are tall means that alto means that uh, you are normally tall is something that belongs to you that doesn't change. So we use ser with all the appearance, with all the personality qualities. Now let's talk about estar. Estar is even easier than ser because estar is used when we um, change from one second to other. For example, your feelings, your states of mind. If you are sad, if you are happy, if you are tired, bored, you're going to say estar. You can be sad in this moment, but maybe in the next second you're happy. So that's why we're going to use estar. And also places. You can be in a place in a second and then in the next second you can be in other one. So that's why we use estar. Also, we use to start with verbs that ends in ing. Ing in Spanish can be ando, like estudiando, or yendo, like comiendo. So, we always will be using to start with this kind of verb, this conjugation. Well, that was the happy part of this story. But the verb to be has a part that is not so happy because we have some adjectives that can be used both. The problem is that some of these use both, but their meaning change. Mm, I know, it's terrible. I'm sorry for my language, but it's like that. So you have to memorize some of this. Feliz, happy, you can use with both. Feliz, you can be a happy person or you can be happy in the moment. So, depends what you mean. You say, ser feliz, you are talking more serious. But if you say, estar feliz, means that you are happy now. Very simple. Young, joven. Hmm. You can use with both, but in this case, the meaning doesn't change. Viejo, as means old, as young, the same. You can use with both and the meaning doesn't change. Aburrido, mm, you can use with both, but the meaning change. If you say ser aburrido means that you are a boring person, you have a boring personality. But if you say estar aburrido means that you are poor right now. So you are not boring, you are poor right now. So aburrido is an adjective that you have to be careful.
Now let's do some exercise together. Here we have to choose which verb to be we are going to use. In some cases we can use both and the meaning won't change. In some cases we will use both but the meaning will change. And in some cases we are going to use just one. So let's start. Intelligent. Okay, you think intelligent is not like a, something that somebody can take easily or can develop easily. So you are going to use ser. If you think in something that a person cannot develop so easily, so it's intelligent. Ser inteligente means that is part of the personality of that person. Aburrido means bored or boring. So in this case, if you say ser aburrido means that you are boring. You are a boring person. So if you say, oh, soy aburrido means that your personality is boring. But if you say estar aburrido means that you are bored now you are bored okay so be careful mm, next soltero means single can be ser or star well in this case you can use both and the meaning is the same there is no difference next molesto means upset and annoying here we can use with both but with ser means that it's that it is annoying. But if we say with a star, it means that is angry or, or upset. So be careful. Ser molesto, that noise is annoying. Ese ruido es molesto. O estar. Él está molesto. He is upset or angry. Alegre. Alegre means joyful. Alegre means joyful. Joyful can be with both or one. Well, mm, you can use with both. If you say ser alegre means that that is a happy person, basically. So, generally, is a person that is happy or very active etc so a star will be that the person is happy um, but oh sorry but in a moment sorry so if we say star alegre means that is happy now okay well, next, respetuoso means respectful. So, mm, respetuoso is like intelligent. It's not something that you can um, develop so easily. You are a respectful person because you, ha you had a good education. So, it's not like you in the moment, you are respectful. It's where. So, you will say ser always, like intelligent. Estudiando. Estudiando means studying. So, always that we are going to see verbs that ends in ando or yendo, the, is the ing, we are going to use estar, always. Estar estudiando, being studying. Casado means married. So, as soltero, you can use with both and the meaning doesn't change. Casado. Ser casado y estar casado. Orgulloso means proud or arrogant. So here we can use with both, but the meaning change. So ser orgulloso means that you are a bit arrogant. And estar means that you are proud right now. Or something that you did. For example, I'm proud of my graduation. So, estoy 
orgulloso de mi graduación. Ok, so proud. Americano. Americano, like intelligent and respectful, is something that you develop through the years. It means that you were born or you were educated. In this case, you are not are educated, but, well, something like that. You have the culture. So in this case, you only can use ser. It's not something that you can develop easily. Enfermo. Enfermo means ill or also can mean that you are uh, mentally ill. So be careful. You can use ser enfermo or estar enfermo. But if you say ser enfermo means that you are mentally ill. It can be that you, can, you have sexual uh, issues or simply estar enfermo means that you are right now you have a illness yeah you are suffering you have a pain is the normal one so try to avoid this one okay try to avoid mentally ill viejo ser viejo or estar viejo viejo means old so here you can use with both and the meaning doesn't change joven young the same like all, you can use with both, and the meaning doesn't change. En el parque, in the park. Ser en el parque, or estar en el parque. Well, here you have a tip. A tip. Always that you see en, you are going to use estar. Always. Oh, I forgot one. Rico. Rico means rich or delicious. So, you can use rico with both. If you say ser rico means that is mm, uh, means that is something somebody is rich and also that something is normally delicious. For example, you say something that everybody loves or is always delicious like chocolate or something like that. You say mm, el chocolate es delicioso. It's a general fact. But if you say, oh, the soup is delicious now, this soup. Okay? So you say, esta sopa está rica. So if you, use, if you use rico with estar, only means delicious, never rich. Some people could say, está rico, but it's incorrect to mean rich. But it's too incorrect, don't, use it. don't say it, don't say it. Estudiante. Estudiante means, means student, student. So, ser estudiante or estar estudiante? Well, all the occupations will be always ser. Because it's something that you cannot change from one moment to other. You cannot be, um, normally from one second to other, you cannot uh, change, change it. So, all the occupations will be always ser. Soy estudiante, soy ingeniero, soy profesora. Hombre, gender, always gender will be with ser. So, what we can conclude from this? Well, there are some that are always fixed. You only use with one. So, we can see that inteligente is always with ser. Also, we can see that respectful is always with ser. Estudiante, the gender, always with ser. And the gender, ser. Mm, but there are some that also are very easy to memorize because you can use with both, like your civil status, single, married. But there are the rest, no? The, from this list, that you have to memorize that the different meanings, no? So those that I didn't highlight are the ones that you have to study more because they are a bit tricky. Well, that's all for this video. Hope that you have liked this and you have understood a little bit more in deep this topic. I know it's very hard, but I suggest you to learn at least the most common adjectives. Well, that's all. 
and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and comment if you have any doubts. Bye!